Hey, welcome back to Mastering Kinemaster. Today I want to show you this fun and stylish technique I call fill a font. That's right, you can fill a font with anything you want. Go to the beach, fill a font with sunset. Go to the mountains, fill a font with snow. Take a scuba diving trip, fill a font with water. But you don't have to go anywhere to fill a font with rainbows. Fill a font with flowers. Fill a font with whatever you want. This technique is 100% in KineMaster, pretty easy to do. If you like my stuff, like and subscribe, join me on the other side and learn how to fill a font. See you over there. Let's start by talking about the KineMaster Store images as a great place to get images to fill your fonts with. So many colors, cool patterns, and all of it. I selected this color gradient. I looked through a bunch of them. I liked this one. I downloaded it. Once you download it, then it goes into your media folder under images and it's here and it can be used to fill your font with. All right, let's check out how this works now. This technique works within any project. What you do is at the tail end of the project, you add a solid color clip, you stretch it out a little bit and you change the color of it to 100% green because we're going to be using chroma key. Then we go ahead and we select the layer for text and we're going to type in and since this was my beach scene i'm going to type beach in here you want to be in all capital letters so then you stretch it out to almost as big as will fit within the screen then we're going to pick the font i'm going to tell you that i like sans serif fonts Whichever one that you use, you want a very wide, fat font, and the word black in the font names means as fat as it gets. I've got a list down below in the in the description on YouTube that tells you some other good fonts, but Rubik Black is my favorite. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the font to just 100% pink, which is basically just getting rid of the green and you got 255 blue and 255 red. So we've got this hard pink color. Then we can add the outline to it. I've found that having an outline on it is best. I found that a weight of around six or seven is very good and white and black outlines work. I haven't had very much success with color outline. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to use this menu here to capture and add as a layer. So we're going to get a picture of what we're seeing on screen. So now we've got a layer that is everything. It's our green and our pink and we go ahead, move it over and we scroll to it. And now we again, expand it to as wide as we can get on screen. And now if you think about it, we have two, we have a layer and a clip. Both of them have a lot of green. Let's check out what happens here when we use the chroma key. So we're on the chroma key, we're on the beach layer and we enable the chroma key. By default, KineMaster puts it to the green, but let's change that to the pink. So now we're going to change it to that pink that we used. And you can see that all that's left is the black outline. The pink is gone now. Now this is going to make all sense when I go ahead and I add another layer in between with my beach shot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the media and I'm going to grab the beach shot that I have here. And now we're going to use this menu here to send it backwards. So it's behind our beach word. We go ahead and send backwards. And then you can see is that only what's showing through is where the pink had been. At this point, you can stretch, move, expand, and choose which part of your image that you want to use. If I stretch this out, I can either choose the part that just has the ocean, I could have just the footsteps, or I could have any of it. I'm going to go ahead and choose the part that just has the ocean. And then the last thing that we do is, once again, we are going to take a picture of this, capture, and add as a layer. And so now we have another miniature picture, you know, that it, uh, you have to scale these up. But what we're going to do is we're going to select that one that just got made. We're going to drag it to our content. And there you can see, and I bet you can guess what the last step is, is that we're going to chroma key once again, enable the chroma key. This time, KineMaster picked the green as you would expect. And so now we have the word beach. Great right there. And in this case, uh, it fits really well against the sand over here. A little bit of a note here is that positioning and looking and thinking about colors when you do this is kind of important. But the nice thing is that you have this kind of playground on the backside over here to do it as many times as you want to. Because check this out, if you put this up in here, it might kind of get lost. And so if you're doing it the other way around and you wanted the word beach up in the clouds, then you might make the beach out of the sand. So we just move back over here. We pick up our image. We move it around and put the sand in there, go through the same process again, capture and save and check out how it looks. And hey, wow, that looked pretty great. Maybe we'll keep that one. 
Of course, we have the other one to check out and see and decide which one we like better. So that about wraps this lesson up. Remember, you can rewind and check if I move too quickly for you. Otherwise, we're about done here. All right, I hope that technique made sense. If you like my content, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have friends in video, share it with them. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, otherwise, put them down below. I always get back in touch with people. And now it's your turn to get out there and make something awesome with the best mobile video platform out there, KineMaster. I will see you the next time. <laughs> Can the master. master.